Hey everyone, and welcome to another Mailbox Monday video. Um, we've got nine items today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the reason for that is because, unfortunately, uh, one of them is basically non-existent, and I think one of them is damaged as well. Yeah, so we'll have to, we'll, don't worry, we'll talk about them when we get to them. Um, also, a few of these things I'm actually going to open live on air. I haven't pre-opened them and covered them up with post-it notes and stuff so that you don't see any of the personal details. So if we come across any personal details, I'll just have to edit on the fly and cover them up and stuff. So apologies for that, but I just thought it'd be more interesting this way. So the first thing is a, le a letter, an envelope. It's come from, uh, where's it come from? Oh, let's have a look. Oh, Northumberland. So it's come from the UK. So nothing too exotic. <laughs> um, okay. Wow. Right, here we go. Uh, gosh, dated the 4th of June. Okay. You may remember that I have been in touch with you in the past. Um, I was the guy who sent you the drawing of the Class 58 from Northumberland and was a member of the ALN Valley Railway uh, project, which, which was happening at Alnwick. With regards to your five-year anniversary video from four months ago, when you opened your Midnight Freight train set box from the mid-80s, you came across the list of dealers and you wondered if any of those still existed. Well, looking very closely at the locations you covered in front of the camera, I couldn't help but notice there was a dealer at the town of Blythe, the hobby shop, 41 Bow Street, which is situated 22 miles from where I live. So I looked that address up on the net, but unfortunately, the dealer no longer exists. It's now a young people's center. However, it was there until fairly recently, as I used to go there with my dad. Wow, <clears throat> excuse me. I have also written to you on this occasion to ask what is your knowledge on T-Gage? <laughs> well, I did come across some T-Gage at the, oh gosh, the, the GCR, the Great Central Railway, the model exhibition. And it's tiny, it's absolutely microscopic. Um, you could build a whole layout on the back of a bacterium. <laughs> In case you haven't already heard of T-Gage, T-Gage is relatively new um, and it de developed and first introduced in Japan back in 2006. It's currently the smallest gauge available on the model railway market. Wow. <clears throat> There's even detailed there the, uh, the actual scales and ratios. It is crazily small. Really, really small. He says it's about two times smaller than Z-gauge. <clears throat> if you would like an even better idea of how small this particular, these particular T-gauge models are, I provide you with a website to check out. So if we go to tgauge.com, you can apparently look up everything about T-gauge. Note it is mainly Japanese products that they produce, however they do produce a model of the British Railways 125 uh, and they do it in various liveries apparently. This particular model comes in a starter set uh, and you'll not believe how tempted I am to buy one um, and make a huge, I am, me being a huge model railway enthusiast like yourself. Personally, from what I have seen, I think the model is very cool and very detailed for such a small scale. And can I ask, if you find them as interesting as I do, would you consider doing a project like the one you have done with the N-Gage? Um, all the best, and I am confident I will be in touch with you again in the future. Kind regards, Connor. Well, Connor, um, T-Gage is probably a little bit too small for me to do anything on, to be honest. I have no plans at the moment. Um, I found N-Gage really fiddly. I might look at Z-Gage, maybe a Japanese Z-Gage or a European Z-Gage, but T-Gage, no, I think it's a bit too small. I've no interest at the moment. Maybe in a few years' time or something, but right now I've certainly got enough to deal with. In the world, in, well, yeah, double O-Gage. <laughs> I've certainly got enough layouts in double O-Gage to worry about at the moment. So, no, T-Gage, not for now. But... I am aware of it, and it is phenomenally small. I mean, it's, honestly, it's just crazy. How they managed to get a motor in something so small, I do not know. So thank you, Connor, for sending in um, another letter. That's really, really cool to read. And I will, um, well, I think you've probably already been sent out a badge and a postcard, so there's no need to send out another one. But I will add it to my collection, and I will check out that website. Okay, so next up is another letter. Um, really quite short and sweet, this one. No address, nothing to cover up, and look how cool that drawing is. To Ice Ace 2, or Will. Sup, Will. Yo. I really like your videos, they are helpful and interesting. Soon I will be able to subscribe to your channel and give big thumbs up for every, every one of your videos. I also like the fact that you own the world's most famous skirting board. <laughs> I do, yep, it's official. 
By the way, my name is also Will. <gasps> That's not allowed. How dare you change it immediately. From your tips and interesting points, I will build a model railway in my room and add the class 9F, a Virgin Pendolino, some pocket rockets, and of course the class 170 in cross country livery. I sincerely, Will from Worcestershire. Oh, that's really sweet, Will. That's such a cool drawing. Honestly, that's so neat. I really like that. And I love how you've plastered 82 all over it as well. <laughs> My own railway company, Ice 82. It's only a matter of time, folks. <laughs> very, very sweet. Thank you very much. Uh, you've not left any contact details, but if you're not bothered, then that's fine too. <laughs> it saves me having to write out another one. Um, but that's really, really cool. Thank you so much. I will add that to my art collection. So thank you, Will. And next up, we have a package. It's come all the way from Belgium. Uh, the guy who sent it is going to recognise it instantly. This has been sent in by Steve. I know him. Um, I play Minecraft with him. His username on Minecraft is Trainboy. I think Trainboy EU. And Steve has sent in an insulated fish wagon, which is a little bit random. Uh, especially seeing as this has come from Belgium. Let's see what he has to say about it. And I will try my best to read his handwriting, and with English not being his first language. There may be a few errors here and there, but um, I'll do my best. Errors on my part, Steve, not your part. Okay. Dear Will Spilsbury, uh, slash Intercity 82, I'm Steve from Belgium. I know. <laughs> I know who you are, Steve. Sorry for the bad handwriting, I think he's put. I've got you a present for you because I want you to keep up the good work. Um, ironically, is that supposed to say? Went about three something the wrong way so I could find a store. Oh, oh, three kilometers. Oh, right. So he's traveled in the wrong direction or something to try and find this, um, this model. Uh, thanks to you, I got myself a Hornby 040 Smoky Joe. Classic. I am at the moment busy with changing the something, the layouts, the bridges, the... I thought with... sorry, is that bridges again? I'm not too sure. Um, he's doing something that is... is something that he's changed himself. He's replacing something with something. Um, and he's making it himself. Hope you are happy with it. Uh, greetings, Steve Morin. <laughs> Steve, that's incredibly sweet of you to send something like that in. Thank you so much. I will add that to my rolling stock collection and you'll see it in some future videos. You don't need to send me anything in, honestly, I'm okay. But it's really sweet when people do. So thank you for that, Steve. That's really, really thoughtful. And I will make sure that a postcard and badge gets sent back out to you in Belgium. So um, that's really cool. And um, I'm sure I'll probably see you on the Minecraft server, the, the Realm server at some point. So yeah, there we go, folks. A quite random um, insulated fish wagon from Belgium. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> okay, and I'll uh, probably find it. I'll even try and recycle the box and use that again, because that's quite cool. Okay, the next one has come all the way from Australia. And I need to be really careful with it, because it's just got so much random stuff in it. Just look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm worried that I've lost something already. Um, nope, I think that's everything. Okay. So I've had to cover all the addresses up on there. Um, there is a tiny little number plate, just like that. There is a set of transfers, uh, British Railways transfers. There's a postcard, uh, another postcard, a a drawing, another drawing, um, and then an actual letter. Um, he's also sent me his membership card to a railway. Now, there is something else as well. There is a, there is supposed to be a name plate. Oh my gosh, but it's so tiny. It's so small. I think it's, I think it's gone missing already. Let me have a look. <laughs> Okay, folks, we're back. I found it. <laughs> oh, it had fallen on the floor somehow. But that is a nameplate that says Gadwall. Um, I really don't know what locomotive it's off, but with the number being 60012, I'm assuming that it's um, an A4, uh, an A4 Pacific, but I could be wrong. So, yeah, 
basically quite a, a random um, selection of stuff and it's all been sent in by Peter Irving from Australia. I do know him, well I know of him, I've seen his Facebook profile and I think he's messaged the Facebook page a few times. Um, he's a nice lad, uh, definitely into his trains. So I'm just going to read this for you. It says, Hi I say to slash Will, my name is Peter and I am your biggest fan. <laughs> Lots of people say that Peter. Um, I am from Victoria. Ah yes, okay, uh, right down at the bottom of Australia, wow. I am still in school in year 8 and every evening after school um, I sit down and watch some of your videos. Please keep up the videos. Oh, and please show us your official layout. Don't worry Peter, it's coming. You have been talking about it for centuries. <laughs> well, it's probably two or three years now, but yes, you're quite right. It's definitely overdue. P.S. I have attached the following. So <laughs> this is really sweet. He's listed all the stuff that he's included and it is quite a selection. So we've got a drawing here of an A4 mallard, which is really cool. Although it looks like it's been printed because it's on both sides as well. So do let me know, Peter, if you've like scanned it into a computer or something. Because there's this one as well. So it's exactly the same on both sides. So there's a, a Flying Scotsman there as well. Um, which is again really cool, but it does look like it's been printed off on a computer. And then he sent in a postcard of an Australian locomotive. It's apparently a Victorian R-Class R77 under West Coast Rail ownership in 2002. So he sent that in. There's this postcard here of the A4. Those are the, the, uh, the, the etched plates. There's a little set of transfers. And then he sent in his Central Highlands Tourist Railway membership card. I'm guessing it's Australian. I'm not, I've never heard of the Central Highlands Railway. But it's sent in an old um, membership card, which is interesting. Uh, so yeah, he's even drawn a Class 58 on the front, look. Uh, Rail Freight Coal Sector 58001, Intercity 82, 2015. IS-82's first train, <laughs> which is really cool. I'm really glad that lots of people know that the 58 is my favourite locomotive. That's really good. So, um, yeah, quite a collection. I'm going to carefully put all that to one side and then move on to this next one, which is a little bit worrying. Okay, so as I said, um, I don't know if the person who sent this in is going to recognise it straight away, but this has arrived quite damaged. It really does look like someone has tried to send a locomotive in just an envelope, which is not safe. Um, seriously people, when you're sending stuff into the channel, make sure it's not only got the correct postage, which this hasn't, but make sure that it's well packaged as well. Use a jiffy bag, or use an actual box and put loads of, you know, scrunched up newspaper in there and stuff to make it safe. The person that sent this in looks like they haven't done any of that and as a result I really don't know what we're going to expect when we open this. Okay, hmm, this is interesting. Well for a start we've got a couple of buffers which are loose and one of them looks like it's snapped off. So that's, oh something else, oh another, another buffer. Three buffers, that's not great is it? I think, yeah, I think that's everything out of the bag. Uh, oh dear, look at this folks. Oh gosh, it's upsetting. Um, okay. Oh gosh, it's a beast as well, it's a 56. Look. Oh wow. But that's going to need some work. It is, it's a class 56. It's a, um, oh gosh, it's a mainline, so it's quite an old model. It's a mainline class 56 in BR blue. But it's, um, it's pretty rough, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, I think I know who sent this in. I think it's a guy called Cameron. Okay, so I've covered his address up and it says, Hi, well again, parcel number three is with you. Well, I only just Cameron. <laughs> Um, please could you return the class 56 within the next month and can you do a review if you would like? Uh, note the class 56 has a cab light. It also can 
be something. I don't know, it's uh, the piece of paper is actually missing. Um, if you wouldn't mind, could you please give it a service? <laughs> well, Cameron, um, it's going to need a bit of a trip to Crew Works anyway, seeing as it's got quite a bit of damage. It's not been very well packaged, I'm afraid, and it's amazing it's arrived here at all. But look, going, I mean, there's even scratches all over it and everything. Seriously, folks, you have got, if you're going to send anything into the channel, you've got to make sure it's well packaged, okay? Um, you've got to look after it because it could end up like this. Cameron, I will do what I can and we'll make sure that it's running okay. But I will be in touch with you privately <laughs> about this as well because it, it, it's going to need some work. Um, and then this brings me on to um, our last item as well because I was going to do all of those but I just don't think I've got time. Uh, this This is a real sad story too. And that this has been sent in, this has come in another um, Aris and Sia Apologies bag, Royal Mail. Whatever was in here has gone. Uh, okay, so our address covered up. This has been sent in by someone called Tom. It says, hi, my name is Tom and I made this at my school. Um, Headland in Bridlington. Well, Tom, <laughs> there's nothing there. Uh, Whatever it was is definitely gone. I mean, you can even see that the cut is like really straight. So it's like it was something square and it's been pushing against the paper and then in transit somewhere, it's just forced its way out and it's gone. Absolutely gone. So I am sorry about that. There's nothing, obviously there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing at all. There's nothing Stapley House can do about it. Um, these things have happened whilst they're in transit. All I can say is look, people, these envelopes, they're rubbish, okay? Unless, it, it, if you're sending a letter, an, em an envelope is fine. But the minute you start to put more into that letter, um, think about getting an actual jiffy bag, or a box, or a package of some sort, because these envelopes, they're just not up to it. So Tom, um, if you want to get in touch with the Facebook channel or the website, uh, tell me what it was, and we can try to uh, sort that out. Um, and as for Cameron, as I say, I will be contacting you directly regarding this because <laughs> it's going to need a trip to Crew Works. It's quite poorly. Um, I do want to end the video on a bit of a high note, though, if I can. And I've got a lovely letter here, which I'm just going to read out to you. Uh, this has been sent in by a couple of twins. Look at this. <laughs> this is really quite cool. There's a couple of twins from Southport, a couple of brothers, and they've both sent in a letter, which is really sweet. One of them has word processed it, and then the other has just handwritten it. So this first one says, uh, Dear Ice 82, I'd like to say that I enjoy every one of your videos, especially the, um, all the reviews on British Railways. My favourite is the Turbo Star. <laughs> um, I love the real thing. I, I beg my mum every day, I want to meet Ice 82, because I love Hornby train sets and Backman train sets. By the look of your videos, I think in about five to ten years' time, I'll have a room full of tracks and locos. Um, I get the feeling that um, I get excited whenever I think about getting a train set, but nothing's coming just yet. Um, every Sunday around 12, I get on my laptop and start looking at trains. I'm tempted to click buy it now, but I know I'll get in trouble. Uh, thanks for the inspiration. I'm excited just to send this. Uh, please check out my channel, and then he's included details of his channel at the bottom. So that's really sweet. And then his brother has gone and handwritten one as well. <laughs> it says, Dear Ice Age 2, as, you, as well as you, I'm a real fan of trains. I find, I film them and put them on YouTube. Please check out my channel. Also, I really want to get a large train set going in one of my rooms. Um, all I wanted to ask is, where are the best stores that you get quality models from? This would really help me and my brother. I watch your reviews all the time. They are very inspiring. I particularly like the Class 170 Cross Country. Another Class 170 fan. Um, I'd love to have a train display like yours. Please can you answer my question as soon as possible and subscribe to my channel. Sincerely, Benish. And he's 12, I think. Um, okay, so yeah, really, really sweet. And my advice is to basically buy your models from any good model shop, really. I, I mean, I get them from all over. I go to Trident Trains, I go to S&J, I go to Hatton's. I even buy them from Amazon and various other places sometimes. So it's a bit of all over the place. And I think the, uh, talking to twins, 
the LMS twins are on pre-order from um, Rails of Sheffield. So, yeah. So, um, I was going to get on to opening these two, and the people that have sent them probably recognise... Uh, rec rec you know, they probably recognise them instantly, but um, I've taken quite a while doing all of this, so we'll stick with just seven items, and I'll put those into next week's video. But yeah, make sure you package them well, guys.